Hello and welcome to the Goodnight Channel. I'm Jake. And I can't breathe out of one of my nostrils. Ooh, brutal. <laughs> it's true. Can't. This week, <laughs> in our f- attempt to complete the 52 game challenge, we played Left 4 Dead 2, game 9 of 52. I don't have I don't have a <laughs> I don't have a a fifty tooth joke for this. Yeah, it's gonna I'll roll my eyes. I already next... rolled my eyes, but it's pointless. It's pointless. Now I, I feel like I've failed you. Yeah. Me. So, Left for Dead too. Just like Val failed us, they've left us for dead. They've left us for dead. Dead and half lifeless. I, <laughs> They've I forsaken nothing. us. Do you think it's because we sin much? They've left this realm for a better realm, and Valve is just a shell company now. Left for Dead Two. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Released in the year 1993 by Valve Studios. You want to jump in here? <laughs> I don't have anything. Left for Dead Thank you. 2. <laughs> created by Valve Corporation and uh, released in the year 2009. I don't have anything else to say about it. All right. <laughs> uh, it's the second in the uh, Left for Dead series. Uh, best known for its two entries, Left for Dead 1 and Left for Dead 2. Uh, they are four to eight player there might be more than eight. I don't know. Four to at least eight player. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. At least four to potentially at most. I don't know. I don't have a computer. It, <laughs> it's a from single player. No, it's not supposed to be. Yeah, but it can be played single player. You're I mean, we played stupid. it two player. <laughs> no, we played a two player, two dumb people usually. <laughs> anyway. Um. It is a cooperative survival, like arcade survival game. Um, it's really not a survival game. It's no. mostly like an arcade shooter. Yes. Uh, which you can tell it's an arcade shooter because there's an arcade shooter. Is there? Left 4 Dead. Yeah, there's, Left 4 Dead is in Japanese arcades. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it has a little mouse and everything. That sounds dumb. They yeah. released it on Xbox. It should be able to like translate to arcade controls. No. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's 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 very arcadey. It's not like uh it's not like well, I guess Dead Rising's pretty arcadey too, but oh, that's, that's a lot more survivally. That is survivally? Well, you pick up things, you pick up health and snacks and you do crafting and you take pictures of girls' skirts. I never played those games. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more survivally than Left 4 Dead. Is. Left 4 Dead is basically like anytime I ever see it, it's man wearing nothing, beating things with golf clubs survival. so it's not like it looks very survival, <laughs> survival to me. Of the fittest yeah he's so fit he's covered wars you know, you know this is this is a train wreck already like Shut that up. one level in left for dead one where there's a train wreck there's a whole train wreck a whole train gets wrecked so yeah that's i mean the basic the basic gameplay is four survivors usually piloted by four people piloted piloted by okay. four people um uh, are stuck in the zombie apocalypse where there are zombies, but they're run zombies, not slow zombies, not real zombies. They're fake zombies. These aren't the real zombies that you're looking for. Star zombies. And uh, every level begins and ends with a safe house, except for the very last... Well, I'm sorry. The game itself is split up into multiple campaigns or movies, as the wiki told me when I looked it up one time in a a coffee shop. (laughs) It said movies? Yeah, it said campaigns or movies, which mm. makes sense. They're movie posters. Yeah. I've never seen them referred to as movies. Me neither. Except by the Left 4 Dead 2 wiki. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's like be... a, that's maybe that's part of the fandom. You know how good they are, you know, writing the lore for things. Yeah. Um. So you, you play a campaign, and it's usually split up into five different levels, sometimes less, sometimes it's three levels. Uh, it's four, like, maps, and then a finale map. Uh, and the four maps are usually point A to point B. Well, they're actually always point A to point B. Uh, sometimes there's little tiny variations of that. Um, but usually how a level will start up will be uh, you're in a safe zone or if it's – you're in a safe house or if it's the first level, you're in an area that is technically safe. Um, 
and you're provided one med kit, uh, usually either a an Uzi or shotgun, and usually either a dual pistol, so you can pick two pistols as your side weapon, which never runs out of ammo, or a melee weapon. Sometimes they don't provide that. Sometimes it's just one or the other, and sometimes they don't give you the weapon right away. Yeah. Um, and, they, and some of those things have variances yeah. on difficulty as well. Are they? Yeah, I think so. We didn't play on any other difficulty. We played on very normal. easy. We, I mean, normal. <laughs> <laughs> American normal. <laughs> Japanese very easy. <laughs> yeah, so you pick up your weapon. You with four people go from that safe house to the safe house at the end, which is just a room you walk into. Zombies can't get into it. Uh, along the way, you'll pick up different supplies. You have four different slots. You have a main weapon, a sub weapon, a throwable item, and a consumable item. You have a you have five slots. <laughs> <laughs> you have a main weapon, a su- you you got a main bitch, a side bitch. Am I allowed to say that? You got a main weapon, a side weapon, hose. Uh, I got hose. A main weapon, a side weapon, <laughs> a kit, a kit, a kit. Yeah. A kit, like a med kit or paddles or a defib kit, defib kit or ammo kit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then laser kit, throwable, consumable. So you pick those up throughout the course of the game. They're all they're never placed in the same spot except when they are. I guess never is not the correct word. Sometimes they're placed in the same spot. They're uh, not. That's like there's some type of RNG to where they're placed. I think. Yeah, there is what what was lauded for a very long time as the director. Who uh, basically watches over you and goes, uh, they're really going through this easy. Let's make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> or they're like, oh, they're really having a hard time. Let's make sure PJ gets hit by uh, a smoker, a hunter, a boomer, a spitter, a all in the course of five seconds. And a charger <laughs> and a tank. Endlessly, forever. And Until he's witch. just dead and doesn't have to play anymore. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's 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 the gist of the game. Uh, oh, usually throughout the course there, uh, of a level, there will be a moment where you can't progress unless you press a button. The button will obviously make a bunch of fucking noise. Yeah. And then you have to either run to an objective or get to an area as it slowly ascends or descends or whatever. Uh, but there's usually one of those too. Not always on every level, but most levels have that. I actually can't think of I'm sure there are, but I'm too dumb. To- yeah. It's just impossible. Well, we're going to go through it, so we'll figure it out as we go. We won't, we won't remember. You're right. I already uh, forgot everything. So gonna we're just going to go through each movie uh, in chronological order. Uh, we also played... So we played every single campaign or movie <laughs> in Left 4 Dead 2. That was part of the base Left 4 Dead 2 game. Plus the passing, because it's part of Left 4 Dead 2 canon. Yeah. And... Uh, the sacrifice which not technically a left for dead 2 it was released on both at the same time yeah it was dlc for both so fucking whatever sue me <laughs> we played it yeah we played it if you if you don't like that write us a letter yeah send us send us a p.o box to letter six seven eight fuck you okay <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first map well before that we have uh our characters oh we also have characters <laughs> there's uh four main characters there's a coach who's a PE teacher. There's Ellis who was a mechanic. I should say was. They're not those things anymore. I thought you said what doesn't matter. Whatever. Nick who is an ex prisoner. He is. Yeah. Is he really? That's what it said. Nick's I, a cool I, guy. I had to look it up. It said he's an ex prisoner. I think he was an ex Al Pacino. <laughs> he, he's an ex prisoner, like because of the infection that he just kind of broke free because no one cared anymore. And put on a snazzy. And, ass so then he stole a suit and now he's an ex con man who's trying to survive. I think he's an XL. Yeah, and then there's Rochelle, who was a producer for a news station. Who, and then there's Rochelle, who likes Depeche Mode. I don't know the rest of her character, because she doesn't ever really have one for some reason. No, I think she does, but yeah, I didn't really see it, an arc playthrough, sadly. Like, I didn't feel like she talked as much. Maybe if I played as her, we would have gotten more. I just think I think the issue is that like Coach is... Everyone, especially in Left 4 Dead 2, is very like uh, zombie movie... You know they're they're they've got a lot of bombast to them. Like I'm the no nonsense coach, yeah. Or like I'm the con man who's you know pretending he's not a convict. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they all have that, and Rochelle's just kind of she's normal. She's a normal person. She's normal. 
So she doesn't really fit in, so you don't really get any character. Well, she tries that. She tries to start a relationship with Francis, so that's pretty cool. I mean, Francis is cute. Yeah. All right. He hates vans. <laughs> I made a shirt with spray paint one time. It looked like shit, but it, it said, I hate vans. That's true. <laughs> it's a real life story. I have it somewhere. Maybe I threw it away. I don't remember, but uh, yep. yeah, I was really cool when I was younger. <laughs> you need to find it and take a picture so I can put it in the show notes. Okay. Please. <laughs> so um, the story. Since we covered those guys pretty quickly. Uh, you forgot the other character. No. Mr. Boomer. <laughs> I don't Mr. care about that. Mr. We'll get to them eventually. Or we won't. Oh, j- uh, also, full disclosure, we, pay- we played the campaign mode. The campaign mode. Campaign. Campaign. We played the campaign mode uh, online. So we had a couple people. Actually, all of them except for the very last one. And even then, we had people come in eventually. Yeah. Uh, people People played with us. Uh, sometimes better, sometimes not so good. Not some, sometimes much worse. <laughs> Way worse than it could have gone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we kicked um, a lot of people in that last one. <laughs> um, yeah, and we did not play versus mode. No. We're dumb. We We're should've. too stupid for versus mode. But we completed the game, which is all that mattered, really. It's true, it's true. <laughs> we completed the game. Yeah, so... Maybe we'll do a side tangent later on versus mode. We won't. Yeah, we we won't. No, we're never going to touch this game again. I already uninstalled it. All right, so story. Oh, I'm sorry. Go one, ahead. One more full disclosure. We, we've we both probably played some of this. Game. I played it before, but never beat it. Like I played like bits and pieces of the levels, but never was able to go through every campaign and actually beat all of them. And I don't think I ever beat the passing or the sacrifice, which I feel like kind of book in the game a little bit yeah but um yeah i just was never and you can like i just got all the achievements finally for completing them yeah, so i know i didn't too. beat yeah, it like exactly. I that was really weird i was like yeah i guess i haven't beaten it i literally got an achievement for almost every level it, it's funny i i got this game and pretty much just played the left for dead one yeah i played the left for dead map i played those and a then lot. i uh i played a lot of the uh mod maps i didn't play any mod maps those i had were my favorite i had left for dead one on xbox 360 yeah. that i played with my friends um and we played on hardcore because we were hard yeah. i mean that's how i used to play it and i think it's probably why i never beat it because it's always playing on hardcore yeah i mean we we beat the shit out of left 4 dead one well and yeah so that one weird. i can run yeah blindfolded probably i, I know it so well yeah it's weird because i i got left 4 dead too and i remember playing some maps it's funny the only the only campaign that i remember even after playing it the only one that i ver- very vividly remember is the only one I very vividly remembered before I before we like replayed the game or yeah. played it, I guess technically. Uh, so yeah, those are all the disclosures. You've now been fully disclosed. I'm sure. All, also, we're Valve one. employees. This is our game. We made it. We made this game. We made this game. We're being we're being paid to talk about it on a podcast like years after. Yeah, sure. They didn't even <laughs> they didn't even do a free weekend this Christmas. Bastards they ruined. They didn't Christmas. even finish their ARG this Christmas. Yeah, their ARG is just <laughs> what happened. Oh, I hope. I hope tomorrow. I hope the day this goes up, they're like, "Oh, Half Life Three is now. Uh, it's released. Thanks Here. for completing the RG." <laughs> <laughs> oh, we no. look like stupid. Anyway, yeah, campaigns. So, the story. Uh, the backstory basically is that uh, this game takes place about a week after uh, Left 4 Dead One. So, the world basically comes to an end. I, it's not really ever explained what happened, which I really like. Like it, it's kind of open to interpretation what has happened to the world. And most of your lore you get in this game is based on like um, graffiti on the walls of people writing notes to each other, like "Meet us here" and stuff like that. Like so, there's 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 all this like speculation of people in the game trying to figure out what is happening, and I really enjoy that. There's a big movie motif going. Like, they're all framed as movies. They all have yeah. movie posters. It doesn't ever explain anything very much like all good zombie movies. Yeah. You know, the only three that are good. 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. Uh, Nick Cannon's version of Day of the Dead. Nick Cannon? Yeah. Like, the guy from Drumline? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in the Day of the Dead remake. Oh, I didn't know that. i never well, seen it. It's, it's, it's great. And what is the third one? <laughs> Stubbs the zombie. <laughs> oh, the video game. The the movie based on the video game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, you did. Oh, it. House of the Dead. Was that the Uwe Boll movie? Yes. House of the Dead. Good job. Thanks. Good. You did it. You really. <laughs> All right. I so. just had to buy some time with the Stubbs the zombie joke first. Oh, got it. 
That's the zombie. I completely forgot about that game until just now, so thank you. How do you forget about that game? The game's really good. No. Yes. No, Destroy All Humans is way better. Both are good. Yeah, but... Stubbs the Zombie is really good. Anyway. So the game opens up with Dead Center, the first campaign, or movie. Um, Fucking wiki. (laughs) Yeah, takes place uh, in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. A lot of people think this game takes place entirely in New Orleans. It doesn't. It takes place only in, once in New Orleans. What's New Orleans? Anyway, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean Narlins. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It sounds like Marlins when you say it. Scrimp. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. It's my whole Narlins accent. So basically, our uh, our survivors are atop of a hotel where they were trying to get evacuated by a helicopter, but they had just missed it. How'd they get up to the hood? How'd they get up to the roof? Well, they walked up there because that's where the helicopters are. Yeah, but then you go down it and there's a bunch of fucking Zambambos. Yeah. They were on their way up there when the zombies showed up. Okay. One week after the other game. Whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They, they, it's like that moment, like they, they got there as that building probably became swarmed with zombies. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's, yeah. And they were all swarming there because there was so much activity with the helicopters. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they're they running up the stairs, and then Coach is like, aren't they supposed to be saving our asses? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. You really did it. You really <laughs> and then Nick, credit to Nick, team. Nick, Nick leans down, and he, he says something smug. I don't remember what he says, but he, he says it. Okay, thank you. You really <laughs> helping me out here. So there's not that much story in this game. I'm trying to make it sound interesting. Yeah. So they uh they have to make their way down out of this hotel, which is on fire for some reason at one point. I don't remember why that happened. Yeah, neither do I. And then uh they make it outside and they go to a mall. That's where they're trying to head to because they I don't remember why they said they had to go to the mall. I think they said it was like another evacuation zone or something like that. I, I will say that the very first uh, chapter. I'm gonna start calling them chapters. The very first chapter to that. De- Look, I get to make up my own campaign whatever. chapter movie. What is it gonna be? Campaign chapter map movie. You're gonna have chapters to stick with me. What are make up the campaign? You can't say chapter for the campaign. When there are- I was saying oh. campaign chapter. This is the first chapter. Okay, you, the way you the implied first campaign. it. They are chapters. You were, Look, I thought you were look, changing the name of the campaign. No, to the I'm changing the name of the chapter. To the ch- okay. The first chapter <laughs> is very clearly the first level. I know that makes that doesn't make sense, but like if you go and play any of the other campaigns, it doesn't ease you into the game nearly as much as the first chapter of Dead Centers. Yeah. It starts out way slower. Um it has everything like sectioned out a lot more. Uh, I don't even think you get an Uzi or a shotgun right away. No, you don't get a primary weapon. Yeah. So like you you go through at a much different pace than you do any other chapter. Uh, I think it's even more slowly paced than No Mercy, which is really supposed to be the first level or the first chapter of or really first level. It's supposed to be the first thing you play. Anyway, so they make their way to the mall where uh, it's fucking nuts in there. Like, <laughs> the look on your face. You're like, brah, <laughs> brah. The Shit. mall. Shit's nuts. It's fucking lit in there. Uh, I, I think I, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of all the like the mall very clearly. You know. Yeah, the mall is really like claustrophobic for a mall, which I really like. Yeah, it's like, dark, and then like you have to go through like the the sub hallways and stuff. Yeah, good good use of darkness in this yeah. game. Like they 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 use their lighting engine really well. Yeah, it's it's really spooky in there. Um, I don't really remember anything else about that chapter except the ending where you it's a uh, arena. Do I? There's an arena where you have to uh, throw gar- uh, garbage cans. Throw gas cans at a car, yeah, and you then find, fill it up. You find uh, this universe's version of like uh, the G- good old boys, Jimmy Davis Jr. That's probably not a real NASCAR driver. No, but it sounds real. So Jimmy Davis Jr. Did I? Yeah, whatever. Jimmy Davis Jr. You're making up one that's probably dead, <laughs> so it's even more offensive to anyone who likes NASCAR. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jimmy Davis Jr. Like their world counterpart of my world's version of Jimmy Davis Jr. Yeah, Ooh. that makes sense. No, <laughs> <laughs> he finds that Ellis is all excited. He's like, "Woo, that's Jimmy Davis Jr." You know, I'm he sure gets really, good. really excited. It's the the characters are very endearing in this game, as they are in Left 4 Dead One. Valve does a really good job of that in both games, and by Valve, I mean Turtle Rock. Yeah, and by Turtle Rock, I mean Valve. Yeah, essentially, same company. Yeah, at this point, um, they do a very good job of 
you know, making their characters feel like real characters. people. Well, like caricatures of real people, but yeah. real enough that you like them, but caricatures enough that they're fun. They're always funny. Yeah, it's weird. Like I, I'm, I, I'm I find myself it. laughing even after playing it again. I was like, oh yeah, these people are really funny. Yeah, they just have really good dynamic conversations. Yeah, and they're different sometimes, which is really cool depending <sighs> on who's playing who and like what happens. Like all based on like I guess the AI director. Yeah, all glory to the AI. The so. Sh- the, the Left 4 Dead showed on. To uh, to complete the end of that one real quick, like, basically, there's, like, multiple floors with gas cans on each floor. Um, and you have to throw them all downstairs while being chased by hundreds and then hundreds of zombies with specials all over the place. Special zombies, we think, I think we talked about. Very briefly. There there are specials on... And by very briefly, I mean, we didn't say... Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said Mr. Hunter, Mr. Bloater. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was the extent of it. So there's special zombies. They're really cool. Special zombies. They introduce three more in this game. Jockey, Charger, and Spitter. Yeah. Um, so now there are the three from the original game, the three from the new game, plus Tank, which is like a special um, special scenario zombie that they throw at you I mean, at you... the most predictable moments possible. Yeah. Sometimes they're not predictable. Sometimes you turn a corner and there's a tank there and you're like, <laughs> I'm dead, uh, <laughs> which happens to me every time I'm in lead. Um, I just like when he shows up without the music and you're yeah. just like, oh, okay, we're here. Uh, and then there's witches, which are also, they they don't move though, and they get played, they're also not utilized. That's enough, not true, I they think. do move in too. If it's night, if it's, it's, if it's light out, they walk around. If it's nighttime, they uh, sit in one place and cry. Uh, and they're used, the AI just places them as the level goes and kind of uses them as to, to like block paths and stuff like that. They're really cool. Uh, and in versus mode, you can play the other team. Like, there's the survivor team, and then there's the infected team. The infected team plays as the six special zombies. All six of them? Yeah. Cool. I don't know if you can play all six at once, but they can play as any yeah. of those six. You can, be a, you can play a jockey? You can play a jockey. You can play a spitter. You can play charger. You can play any of them. Except, cool. for, uh, except for the tank, which you can only play as... Uh, so there's seven that you can play as, but the tank is only during special occasions. Campaign two? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh... Uh, about the finale oh yeah which yeah. are those are the finales the the final chapters and all of them are to his finales uh it's uh, i think it's the easiest one right uh yeah probably like dead center is pretty easy uh, uh, compared to like no mercy which is the first campaign in left 4 dead one which is ends pretty brutally like it's pretty hard especially in the left 4 dead 2 version of it where there's no way to hide yeah and it's all open air, so if you get knocked anywhere, you're just you gone. Fly, yeah. yeah, you fly off the like, map. It's, it, it can be pretty brutal if you have the wrong team, which is always. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Unless you have four friends to yeah. play with, or three friends. Which probably just makes it worse <laughs> somehow. Well, yeah, because if you're then on you, the team. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, they they gas up a car and they leave. But I'm, I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. I think the only hard part, it's not even hard, but you can blow up the gas cans on accident. They respawn eventually. Oh, do they? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They respawn eventually, but at the same time, is that really a minus when you can use it as offense? Like, I mainly just stayed on the bottom floor and you guys threw the gas cans to me. Yeah. Like, it was pretty simple. It is. You just use some teamwork and you're good. Whatever that is. Campaign two. So, after they get away in this car, they just gassed up, they head to, they get stuck at a bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that just one level? The That's passing? the passing. The passing is three chapters. I don't remember them very well. Well, that's because, keep in mind, it's one chapter, two chapter, and then finale. Well, what's the first chapter? You walk through the streets wherever they are. So they, they leave, and then they came back? What'd they go get? You know, fuck you. What? I don't remember. I don't either. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I don't know why they leave their car, or how they... Every single level, or I'm sorry, every single, yeah, no, every single level in this game is just a fucking labyrinthine mess. Yeah. That you one's... always know where you're going. Or, excuse me. You never know where you're going, but you're always going the right way, right? I think that's pretty accurate. Like, you're always on track to where you need to be, but you never know why. <laughs> you never know why or, like, how I'm supposed to know any of this. It's just that... The people who work at Valve are incredibly good level designers, and and they just know how to make a level and direct you along really well. Because they're not always corridors. Sometimes they're pretty open, and even even when they're corridors, they have these big open spaces, and you always know, oh, I got to go right there. 
you know everything feeds perfectly down the level it's it's kind of really really beautiful <laughs> i can't find anything about it all right they leave their car to go get their car yeah they well they That's have to, we'll say. the bridge they need to gas up the bridge generators hmm yeah really Maybe they have to go to the other side of the bridge. Is that possible? They might have to go, because I don't think the car is there when you go on the other side of the bridge. Oh, maybe they've crossed the bridge. Yeah, I think they... They're trying they... to lower it because the other team had raised the bridge. Exactly, exactly. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It, it, at this point, you run into uh, just Lewis, I think, in the beginning of the passage. I don't remember. In the passing. It. It's... I think it's just one of the Left 4 Dead 1 survivors, and it's just Lewis. Because uh, it's kind of... This came out, and they you didn't know that one of the Left 4 Dead 1 survivors... No longer is a survivor. He's now a debtor. Well, that's why it's called the passing. Well, yeah. But th- this was the kind of figuring out who it was. Yeah. So they didn't give it away right away, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just Lewis. And let me tell you, it feels really nice, Left 4 Dead 1. Yeah. I don't know why. I really like them. My, it's like a combination of nostalgia. And... Yeah. And you're just like, oh, hey. Yeah. It's, kind yeah, of, it's, it's, I, it's I really a combination, nice. and then I said one thing, so it's not, there's no yeah, yeah, combo Yeah, it's there. a combination of, you know, like one and zero. So it's one. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you you get some gas cans, you fill up some generators, you get really stressed out that oh, no the f- one knows what they're doing, and then uh, the this, bridge gets lowered and you leave. The end. This version of the finale, this f- finale is the same basically as the dead center finale, except way harder. <laughs> yeah, much harder <laughs> because everything just constantly spawns. Like there's constantly tanks spawning. There's special constant in- hordes, and your entire team needs to be following each other and going around the map. You know. Together, because otherwise you get wiped. Everyone wants to go out. The the map is the dead center map, but huge. Yeah. Like, where you have to go to one area, pick up a gas can, and bring it over. In dead center, it's just two halves of a hallway. Here, it's an entire, like, city block. And it's just like, oh, there's so much bullshit going on. And no one ever talks. No one ever talks. So there's no teamwork. Even if you talk to them and yell at them. Constantly yell at them. They just don't care, and they do whatever they want. Yeah, so it's just people going in four directions and then all dying, and then eventually you just do it. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, you, the the bridge lowers after you get all these generators working or whatever it is. You get all the gas cans working. Yeah, you realize that Bill's dead. Bill is dead. What a coincidence. Bill Everyone is, knew that because the achievement said kill Bill. Bill is kill. No, that's not the passing. Uh, it came sacrifice. out at the same time. No, they didn't. Anyway. <laughs> so then they, uh, they take their car... Back onto the freeway. The freeway. Free. Freeway. They take their car back onto the freeway, but uh, they get stuck uh, again in Savannah, Georgia, because it's just blockaded with cars all fucking broken down and abandoned. So um, they uh, they have to go by foot now through uh, a carnival, and that shit is crazy scary because there's all these clowns and uh, Fago. Fago. Oh my god! Yeah, they have to go right through the dark carnival. No zombies, just a bunch of chuckalos just hanging out. It's just and none of them are. Yeah, not one is a zombie. Not just a single one. So uh, fuck fifth graders. This, this campaign's got a, an, an interesting mechanic in it that we didn't do, but I've always wanted to do, but probably never will. It's the get the achievement for the gnome. Uh, in the very There's first, a bunch of these, There's yeah, a bunch of like mini game achievements in this level. But I, I kind of like them; they're kind of cool. I, I they make that, it interesting to play again. Yeah, like, I, I think this reason campaign to. is the most lighthearted of them. Yeah, I mean, you get to honk clown noses, which I think is funny. Yeah, by uh, meleeing them. Well, can, can you tell me? Actually, you go on. I'm gonna. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite things is the the gnome achievement. Gnome Chomsky. No Chomsky. Yeah, you you have to complete a mini game, and then if you beat it. You unlock this little prize door that gives it to you, that gives him to you, and uh, it begins one of the most complicated like side quests in this game, where you have to complete the campaign with him, which is impossible to do for the most part. I, I don't remember if you can melee with him. I think you can. I think you can push with him, and that's about yeah, but you it. You can drop him. Well, you can put him on the ground, yeah. And but if you him lose him, you you got to be yeah, you know, conscious of where him. he is. Um, it, which is like I think a throwback to Half Life Two Episode Two, yeah, like where you can do the same thing in that as well. But I think that one's much harder. I think I did it because I'm a crazy person. Yeah, I, I think we both did it. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, it, it's a fun little extra thing to do. But when I you beat the game, like it gives you a reason to go back and go. Oh, let me try yeah. an extra challenge to it. And again, that's what I like about this level is it kind of throws these little extra bits in there to to go. Oh, I want to replay this campaign again. And it, it's nice to have like a coordinated team. 
for these ones because it's like, hey, I'm doing this. I'm holding the gnome. Hey, yeah. take the gnome. Do this. Like, yeah, it exactly. works. But when you get randos, it's no fun at all. So yeah, as <laughs> you got me excited. <laughs> when they make they make their way through this dark carnival, and at the very end is a ICP concert. <laughs> And uh, like Tequila. <laughs> Tila Tequila's there, and she's just and you find ruining the, it. You, you find the origin of the spitter. Yes. Tila Tequila. Oh, oh no. <laughs> anyway, um, so there's a there's like a concert set, and they they um have to they they put on like a, they turn on the show basically. It's the Midnight Riders the, or yeah, whatever. The Midnight Riders, and they turn on the show, and like the pyrotechnics and all this stuff's going off, and it signals a helicopter, and he comes and picks them up. Which is also, like I said, it's a very lighthearted finale. Yeah. Uh, I found it difficult. I mean, I think we beat it the first time through, but maybe yeah. it's just because I was really ho- he- like low on health the whole time. But it, That one's a little bit... I've played it before. That was like one of the only finales. I think that and one other finale are the only two I'd ever beaten yeah, I before, think I think. And that one was really like difficult every time I played it. Really? I, th- I thought it was... But I've only ever played it on hardcore, so... It's also the second game. I feel like Left 4 Dead 2 has a bigger emphasis on doing the campaigns in order than Left 4 yeah. Dead 1 does. Even though that also has a story going through it, I feel like this one is designed a lot more. Yeah. For, maybe not a lot more. So, so then we're off to uh, movie five, Swamp Fever. Wait, the four. Four, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm my bad at number. That's... Yeah, number four, <laughs> Swamp Fever. They, uh, they're a helicopter pilot. Is turns out he's infected. Just like No Mercy. And uh, it cra- he crashes the helicopter in the swamp, and then they have to make their way through the swamp, which is probably my most stressful campaign. Like, it's just hard. I think Swamp Fever is one of the hardest. Yeah, we, we fucked up a lot in it. I don't know if yeah. it's because we had No, it's a bad campaign. Teammates. It's I don't really think hard. it's bad. I think it's just difficult. It's because, like, the water slows you down, and there's hordes. It's really cool. I think it's really cool. And I mean, I really like the setting because you go through an alligator farm. Yeah, you go through a crashed airliner. Yeah, it's you get all those like descent type style uh, mud people. They yeah. look really cool. The, uh, and you end up on that uh, big mansion. Yeah, it's a really you cool end up one. on the plantation mansion. It's a mansion reminds me a lot of Twenty Eight Days Later. Yeah, when they do that same thing, but it's I guess on the fuck ever. It's the same thing. Yeah, same thing. English and uh, it has one of the harder endings too. I think we just fucked up really bad. I, I don't. Yeah, I, that's when we had a really good teammate, though. It yes, was really funny. So. But we had we were also down a teammate. Yeah. So I, I think it was one of the easier. I, I it's I I can't imagine it being that hard. I mean, we beat it down a person, and me being flung off the fucking side of the thing three times. So it it can it can't be that bad. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. And so yeah, at the end of that campaign, you get onto a boat who is headed towards New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh well. Sorry, I'll I'll correct him every time he does it, just in case, <laughs> just so just so the people, just so our listeners know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that takes us to the next campaign, my favorite campaign, uh, Chapter Five, Movie Four. <laughs> chapter Five, Movie Four. <laughs> <laughs> movie Five, Campaign Two. <laughs> campaign. Okay, Campaign Number Five. Uh, hard Rain. Uh, they're like, I think they stop like halfway to New Orleans, which is basically Mississippi. Right? Somewhere it in there. Is. I don't know. <laughs> you looked at me for validation, and I was like... I don't know. I don't know. I live in Florida. <laughs> yeah. And so they uh, they have to stop to get gas, but the boat guy can't leave the boat. He has to stay on the boat. So the four survivors go through uh, like a suburban area to a, a gas station that's like five miles inland. Yeah. Well, they stop at a gas station and go, there's no gas. Oh. So they have to go to another gas station. Yeah. Um, I will say that when I said that I only remember one campaign... It, yeah. It's the only one I remember vividly both ways. Like, before we played it and after we played it. It's the only one I... I, I remember each section very vividly. Probably because there's only two. Yeah. That are different slightly. So, yeah. This one's a, a unique campaign. Whereas you go in two chapters and then you come back out through the two chapters through the same way. But the second time through, it's raining. Hard. Oh, my <laughs> God. And... um. It's like I think it's a hurricane that's taking place. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Weird, just some kind of torrential downpour. It's really, occurring. it's really bad. It, it reminded me of of hurricanes. Yeah, it's really it, cool. It's a. It, it might also be because we are from Florida. Spoilers, uh, but like it's it's a spookier map. Maybe because of that, like it makes you feel very stressful. I don't. Again, I don't know if it's just us, but like it happens, and it's yeah. You see that stuff, and it's like it's, I don't know. It feels very real. It felt very realistic the way they portrayed it. 
Yeah, it. I, I, I feel like this map was made later in the development cycle. It feels very like they figured everything out, like little quirks of the maps. And... Well, it also feels like they didn't have as much time. Maybe I don't know. It feels it feels kind of like because you go through the you go through uh, you go two chapters in and then you come two chapters back and you go through the exact same maps twice. Yeah, but they feel different because it's well, they the feel very time. different. But really, what's what what? There's not a whole lot different about them because you go in one way. Right, and there's certain ways you do that because yeah. of the way the maps are built. But as you come back, I mean, you're, you're it's raining, so you're disoriented. R- no, I'm not saying it's not. Let me back up. It's not that it's bad. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's a lot easier to add those elements so that you can go backwards through the map than create a whole new map. Yeah, but I don't think a new map would have been as good. I think no, going no, no, through no. it I'm, twice is the intended purpose. I don't think that it was a time constraint or anything well, like that. I, I think know. it was. I, I think it, it's a very creative map. I think it's creative because, you know, I don't. I don't know because I, I, you know, wasn't there. But, but I like, wouldn't say that it's because they ran out of time. Like it seems like they intended it to be like that. It's it's well designed for that. It is well designed. I'm not saying it's not well designed. I'm just saying like. But it sounds like you're saying that they ran out of time, which I don't think is. Valve doesn't I mean, release I, anything unless they think it's ready. Well, it, I think maybe what happened was I don't know. It, it just. Something about Hard Rain feels like some kind of like test map, or I don't know, something where they were kind of like, oh, we we need to make another one, but we need there's like I don't know, it feels like there's some kind of restraint on it, which ended up way for the better. I don't, I don't know. know, it doesn't feel that way to me. I don't know. I mean, it. I think it took the least amount of effort to make, and yet at the same time, I think it's the best campaign. It's got five witches in one part. Well, depend. Yeah. But I it's mean, great. I, I I really, really like Hard Rain. I f- it's, A, really, really unique. Again, you go through one way, you come back the other way, and, you know, every everything feels different. Certain areas are flooded. Uh, it feels different just because you're going through it the back way, which is weird because Left 4 Dead 2 constantly feels like you're being pushed forward. It never feels like you should be going backwards. Yeah. And so it, I think it's a very big, you know, design feat to be able to then push them the opposite way, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they they change all the lighting. They they do a lot of stuff. But, again, it is only two maps just reused. But it doesn't feel bad. I'm not saying it feels bad. It, again, it's my favorite one. I so. mean, because I mean, there's a lot of strategy involved because you have to make sure you don't use all your resources. Yeah, it's really, really Because you're going to come back through. I just think Hard Rain has that, you know, uh, working with what we have kind of feel to it that makes it feel unique comparatively to the other. Like, it feels a little bit more... Um, I don't know, like subtle or something than the other. Because like I played some of the DLCs, I think for the first one, and they don't feel nearly as nice as this. And those ones were supposed to be crafted much better. Well, that's what that's what I mean. It it has that very unique feel to something that has like again, I don't know if it had time constraints, but it feels like one of those games where they went, oh, you know, we we have to get this out at a certain time. We can we only have time to make these two maps. We can't make two more maps. Yeah, but we can edit these these two that we have. And make them feel really good on a lot less time. So how can we do that creatively? Like mm-hmm. it feel maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not what happened. But it has that very unique feel to it. Yeah, where it feels special because of it. That's why I always thought that Hard Rain was maybe the last one they made, but or maybe the first one they made. But I don't really know, obviously. But like I said, it just has that feel to it, and I really, really like it. Even the finale is pretty, you know, low key comparatively. Yeah. There's no big explosions. You're just on top of a gas station while it's raining. Yeah. In where you started. It's cool because it's, yeah, it's it ends you... where you start. Yeah, That's yeah. It. It's it's a really, really cool map. I uh, like it a lot. It's my favorite one. Yeah, it's my favorite one. Uh, So after that, there's The Parish, uh, movie six, chapter six, campaign six, whatever. The final one, technically. Yeah. The final one of the base game. Yeah. So this one is boring. Nah, I'm just, it's not that bad. It's pretty boring. It's the one that I associate with being the first level, but it's not. It's actually the last level. I do that too. I I associate half of Dead Center and half of the Parish. Yeah. I don't know why. Because I probably only played them in that order. (laughs) Yeah. I I have like a machete order to this game in my head. Yeah. It's it. Parish is maybe my least favorite. I I mean I like it, but it's it's not really that much memorable about it. I mean, there's like it's pretty memorable. Yeah. Because you go through gnarly. Yeah, you go through some streets. Oh, there's the quarantine zone. Yeah, that's pretty that's cool. really cool. That's pretty because cool. you have to hit the alarm and run through these like uh, corridors of yeah. fences while the zombies are hopping over. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that part's actually kind of fun. Now that I think but about that's, that. That's in the first chapter. Yeah. And then after that, stuff happens. I don't remember yeah, what. It, oh, and then the ending is really cool. It's the bridge. You have to lower the bridge and run across this huge bridge. Yeah, as, and it's so hard. It feels like the last level because it's in it's it's like lear- all those things that you learned how to do, you now have to all the all the stuff that you've learned over the course of the game where you're running through levels, you now have to do on an insane scale where there's you just constantly have to keep moving because if yeah. you don't, things keep spawning, and and then you get people on your team who just fucking stay behind. leave. <laughs> they leave you behind, and then they stay behind. Yeah, and you're, so you're at just the same fucked. time. So you're just at down two teammates. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe this level's dumb. a lot easier when you have competent teammates. Yeah, when you I have four know. people working together rather than two, it was horrible. We had to kick so many people on that map. Yeah, but it's. I mean, I like the finale. To I like the finale to the parish. Yeah, I think it's weird because. It doesn't have anything to do with the parish? No. Whereas all the other ones do. Well, not when you go through a graveyard. Yeah, but you just go through it once. Like, you don't... I I always con- confuse the ending of the parish with that one Left 4 Dead 1 map where you go you to go a graveyard. go through a church. Yeah. Well, no. There, don't you have one where you're at a church? I mean, you're at a graveyard. Or a church that has a graveyard in the back. Yeah. And then it starts the next campaign. You're in that church. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. I always confuse the two. For or, me. sorry, chapter. You work your yeah, way up, yeah. and there's a guy, he dies, and then the next chapter, I know, because you get the sniper rifle right there, and you sit on top of the church. And you- yeah, all of them have something to do with, like, I guess, you know, swamp fever. I mean, the plantation's in the swamp. It's it's vague enough where you can... Yeah. But, like, the parish is really specific. It's, like, the parish, as in a parish, but it, the finale doesn't have anything... You don't even spend a significant amount of time in a parish. No, not really. So, it feels odd. I'm sure there's a reason. There's not. <laughs> anyway, so after that, if you make it to the helicopter, which we didn't, we died. We just we prayed to the AI god and hoped that because we weren't ever going to be able to beat it with the other people that oh, were with yeah. us. And uh, yeah, it you get flown away to a city of ships in the ocean. I don't know if they say that in the game, but I looked it up and that's what it said. Because I was I was like I wondered what happened, and that's what it said. They go to a city in the ocean, which sounds really cool to me. Makes me excited for Left 4 Dead 3 if that's where it maybe takes place for like a minute or two. Yeah. Like, I would like to see the infection outbreak there. Yeah. Well, and then, like, they have to make their way to land. Like, like I think there'd be some really cool stuff. Um, campaign one is you're on the boats where an infection happens. Yeah. And campaign two is you leave and you're now, like, out, off the coast of somewhere interesting, maybe for once. Maybe an island, like a an island of dead people. Some kind of island dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and then there's one more campaign, the DLC campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sacrifice. Bill dies. That's it. Yep, pretty it's, much. It's you the go passing, through it, but it, it, it's slightly good. different. No, it's not the passing. I, I was wrong. Oh. Because when we were playing the passing, I was like, I'm pretty sure the Sacrifice is just the passing. But it's not. It's not that. Just slightly varianted. Well, no, no. The, the, the opening two chapters are way different. I don't remember them. I don't know why. They're so... We just played them. I know, and I can't remember them. That's how memorable they are. Yeah, I don't really remember either. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a part where there's a, crashed, for not remembering. there's a crashed train, and there's a tank uh, inside. It's that the only cool. time you can control when there's a tank, because uh, the second you open it, obviously, there's a tank. I mean, 99% of the time, the second you open anything, there's a tank, but this time you know for a fact, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the the end is... Like an easier version of the passing where Bill dies. He didn't a, die this time. Yeah, a survivor dies. Uh, we did it where um, two people died. Two people died <laughs> <laughs> on accident. Well, someone else jumped down, and I was trying to get the kill Bill achievement, and uh, that didn't work so well because the other guy killed himself first. So Bastard. I just died too for no reason. I loved it. No reason for me to die, but I did it. So uh, that's the, the, the those are all the campaigns for uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, now we're gonna move on to questions i hope you have a couple because uh what should we call this part questions with jake and pj good night question q a vote on what you like the most jake's gonna create a poll yeah He's not, probably but. no <laughs> <laughs> you put a lot of faith in me to do that i mean i'll put it together no one's gonna vote so it won't matter i'm gonna vote all right well i'll, I'll put it together like 50 different names for this <laughs> this segment uh you want to go first sure do you have a question yeah Who's your favorite survivor of these four? Yeah. 
Oh, real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, the sacrifice is really nice to play survivors again. I mean, you could just play those levels. As I know, a, I know. But like, if you go through the intended way of Left 4 Dead 2, that would be your last level that you get. Like, they're in that order. So I mean, not really. It's big. It's only there because it's left over from. Yeah, but if you like, if you look at the scroll down list, it's the last one. I mean, maybe I mean, it's not intended that yeah, way. Yeah, I don't think that's in it's the way that we order. did it. I mean, they're, those are the ones that are shipped because technically it should be no mercy and all those. Then the sacrifice, then the passing, and then the rest of them. Okay, but like sort of. I like, feel like the pa- I, the passing I, clearly should be in the other team. I mean, I I really feel like it's it's no mercy through blood harvest. I think is the last. Yeah, whatever one. that one, and then I'm pretty sure it's blood harvest. Then opening of two. The sacrifice. The no, no, no. The passing. the passing. No, it should be the, the sacrifice. The passing is clearly supposed to be before the sacrifice because they frame it like it's a mystery. Okay, so. So it should be. I feel like. I'm saying in chronological order. I know chronological order, but fuck chronological. I don't care. This isn't goddamn Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I'm right. done with it. I'm done, done with, with Chrono Trigger. <laughs> you know, it's a lot like in that part in Chrono Trigger where you have to go back and. Yeah. I. I. Okay, maybe it's not intended, but I really like the sacrifice as the very last thing you play because you get you get you get to play with your you know if you, if you want to do no mercy first, you want to do the Left 4 Dead one maps first. You get your chance with the Left 4 Dead one survivors. Then you have an entire game worth of Left 4 Dead two people, and then you get to say goodbye to the Left 4 Dead wonders. Yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I, I like it. I enjoy it. I'm glad they killed someone. I wished it was me. <laughs> uh, my favorite survivor. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Left 4 Dead 2 survivor is... Yes, that's who I play as. Yeah. I, I Something about him. I don't know. I like him. <laughs> ex-prisoner, ex-con man. Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. You know, he's an Al Pacino. <laughs> he's a Serpico. Regular Serpico kind of guy. I really like <laughs> Ellis. Yeah, I like both. They're my two favorite. Just something about Ellis, his childlike wonderment. I love it. I, I, think, it, I think I like playing as Nick, but I really like Ellis. You know what I mean? Like... Something about that dynamic's really nice. I think Ellis just has really good dialogue. Yes. Like, yeah, for sure. He's, for just, sure. he's just really funny. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a hard it's a hard pick between those two. Rochelle's my least favorite. Yeah. She's just she's just not that fun. I, I mean, I, I I feel like I remember her being funnier than our campaigns. She likes Depeche Mode. She can't be that good. Just check. How is Bingo? What's Grandpa? your question? <laughs> my question is how is Bingo? How old are you? What what is Depeche Mode? What is that from like nineteen seventy two? Um my question, <laughs> All right? Can't ask you who your favorite character is. We already know who the favorite campaign is. We did a good job. Good question. We talked about the atmosphere. Shit. Uh, what's your favorite zombie movie? What's it? What is your favorite zombie? movie? My favorite zombie movie. It's Return of the Living Dead because it's funny. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got that punk girl in it. It's really cute. No, no, no. It's Zombie Land because it's got Bill. Zombie Land's not that bad. It's really not that bad. <laughs> I know you saw right through my facade. Of- like I know that you're being sarcastic. Zombie Land's not that bad. It's also it's, not that good. I think it's good. I don't think it's amazing or even like a classic or even a cult classic. But it's good. I think it's well put together. I think I saw it twice, maybe not in theaters, mind you. I did see it once in theaters. I saw, I saw Scott Pilgrim twice. In- What's wrong with you? Why do you go see bad movies? Both of those movies had Sa- Michael Sarah. Do you just like going to see Michael Sarah movies? <laughs> I know you know this, but for anyone in the audience who doesn't know, Zombieland does not have Michael Sarah. in it. That's a funny joke by Jake. It has man who looks exactly like Michael Sarah, but has yeah, less Michael charisma. Sarah. Has less charisma than the charisma black hole that is Michael Sarah in anything that's not Arrested Development. He doesn't even have charisma in that. Yeah, he does. He's very funny. Oh, yeah, he's funny, but it's not because he has charisma. Hi, but he's enjoyable. Yeah, Unlike yeah. His character else. makes sense then. He just never evolved from that. <laughs> um, yeah, <it's> not... uh, <laughs> who is your least favorite special infected? Oh, probably the jockey. The jockey? Um, and the spitter. It's a it's a close one. I hate both of them a lot. Probably probably the jockey because he. If you are stranded just a annoying. little bit far away, or if you like, say he gets you as everybody goes past in a, in a, a, a point of no return, you're fucked. He just like wanders you off so far, and it's it's just infuriating to have your controls robbed from you. Whereas like the spitter, at least like oh, I can jump out of this. Like I don't. It's something to me like that. The jockey just makes me furious because it's like the, the loss of control. Yeah, you 
you had mentioned that when we were talking about it a little bit before, and I think I think that is a big because it's the only difference between it and everything else. Like, like, like you said, I don't mind being pinned in a spot because like Hunter I'm there. pins you. Yeah, and the the smoker, smoker drags you in but, a straight line that everybody can see. But the jockey will like you'll go into buildings and the rooms. Like he's so good at making me really angry, and people can't find you because of that. Like, yeah. I I mean I, I no not to discredit him. I mean, he's he's great design. Like he fucking makes you angry, but. Oh, I get so mad every time he gets on me. See, I my least favorite's the spitter. Yeah. Uh I I also don't like jockey, but I feel like jockey is like I'm being I I don't like the way that it punishes you, but I'm being punished for doing something that I really shouldn't be doing, which yeah, is yeah. straying away from the group. So that's good. The spitter the spitter is not hard. How fucking often do you die to anything spitter related? Never. Never, never once. Something about being punished for literally nothing kills me, though. Yeah. Like, the spitter always hits you. You can't melee her because she just blows up into spit. It doesn't do anything, but god damn, it it never feels good to be punished for doing what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah. She's she's, she's awful. But... She just feels like bad. Like, I understand what they're trying to do. Like, it's supposed to be crowd control for the infected team. I just feel like the problem is, is she constantly, like, hits us in the... Tight corridors. Which is what she's supposed to do, but it just never feels good. No, I hate it. It, It's very... Um, maybe it's a lot different in Versus, where the spitter can, you know, more accurately... Oh, they're coming this way. I'm going to spit on the ground. They'll avoid it. Go this way. You can do this. X, Y, Z type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, just in the normal one, she always hits us. She never misses. She mm. always hits us right on the ground. Yep. And, it just, like, again, it, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but fuck it. It just doesn't feel good. No, I hate it. Like, it, it never feels her. good to be punished, regardless of how small it is for doing, you know, like I said, I don't like that. You have another question? No. I have one more. Good, because I... Uh, how do you feel about the difference between the weapons in 2 versus 1? You know, one of my problems with 2 was the weapons. They didn't feel as hard-hitting for some reason to me. Like, they didn't... They felt very floaty in 2 compared to 1. I, again, I'm going off of memory because I haven't played 1 in a really long time, but like, something about 1 felt very, like counter strikey so i was like i understood like how they worked and I, I really was used to that feeling and i felt like twos were very floaty they didn't really feel like they did as much damage i didn't really like the melee weapons at first um it seemed like playing it now it felt very uh it felt a lot tighter than when i originally played it um because i think i originally played it on 360 and i don't know if that had anything to do with it but it just didn't my. feel as tight as the first game in my opinion like something about like the shotguns didn't feel like they did as much damage in two. Um, I don't know. It just felt very different to me. I, I don't mind them. Like now, like I, I had fun like running around with the katana is great. Yeah. Uh, Always. I know that there's no difference between any of them, but using a cricket bat for some reason, not that that makes any sense either that there's just cricket bats laying around, but like, I don't know. It's, it felt, it doesn't feel as tight to me as, as one or any shooter from valve. I feel like most of their shooters are pretty tight, but this one's a little more, how do you, floaty. So, Left 4 Dead 1 broke its weapons up into Uzi Shotgun. Those are your starting weapons. And those are generally your weapons until the second chapter in. Yeah. And then it breaks the weapons down into... Uh, Better carb- shotgun, assault rifle. A- assault assault shotgun, assault rifle, like a like an M4. A sniper and a, rifle. And a hunting rifle. Yeah. That's it. So, how do you feel about them... Because cha- they change that dynamic a lot in this one, I feel like. Yeah. Like, it's no longer... You get... Because usually how it felt in Left 4 Dead 1 was you get to an area, this is our upgrade point. Okay, team, you pick what you what yeah. you, what one well, you, you get want. Your, you start with your basic weapons, and then you get your upgrade weapons by the end of the first or second right. chapter. You get your upgrade weapon or your side grade, which is yeah. hunting rifle. Like you, But your whole team kind of get – they always pre- pre- present them all at once, or yeah. more often than not in Left 4 Dead 1. There, It's like, okay, here's all three of them. Pick the one that you like. Like I, I like the the like – the, the weapons being thrown about a bit more into like you can, it gives you more opportunity to change things up without consequence. Like uh, during that last chapter where you're running across the bridge, like there's weapons scattered all over. And like, I had been playing a certain way the whole game, but it just yeah. wasn't working here. Well, cause and by the time I figured that out, it was great because there was a new weapon on the ground. I went, Oh great. This will really change up because I don't need a sniper rifle anymore. Yeah. Well, I liked it. Cause I liked, I liked it especially in that section. Cause it's like, you're running out of ammo because you're yeah. constantly shooting. So you get to a point that has a new weapon. It doesn't matter what that weapon is. 
because it has full ammo. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you know, I've been using an assault rifle. It's what I'm good at, but I'm going to have to use this shotgun now. We're, all yeah. of us are going to probably have to be using this shotgun if there's only that there. And we're going to have to change up our whole plan. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. I, I think it's funny because it feels a lot less arcadey yeah. than Left 4 Dead 1 in that sense. Like, it feels a lot more like a quote-unquote survival game because it doesn't matter if you like the AK or not. Here's your weapon kind yeah. of deal. I do miss a little bit having those, like, unfu, like... This is the one I always pick kind of deal. You yeah. still have a little bit of that, but sometimes it just fucks you. And you're... I, I don't mind. Like, all the weapons feel similar. Yeah. Once I start using them, I'm like, oh, okay, this is just, just this. They're yeah. not that different. Like, I don't know. My favorite weapon is the katana. I like the and it's not even any better than any of the other melee weapons. Yeah, it, it, it just looks cool, and it makes a cool sound. I, I, I use twin pistols or, or deagle. No, but the second, like I see that, the second I see that katana, I'm like, katana. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I'll pass twenty melee weapons and just go. All right, Katana. doesn't matter what it is. I, I really like the cool. chainsaw. Ugh. Sometimes I don't know. It's just fun. Sometimes yeah, to just mow through enemies. It's but fun. I hate the uh, the grenade launcher. I love the grenade launcher, but I didn't pick it up because I knew that I'd just be fucking everything up. But it's yeah. one of my favorite weapons. It's just like with randoms in the map, it's hard to play with it because you just hurt everyone. Yeah. Also, I feel like we only ever got them in Swamp Fever. Like yeah, we didn't really get them a whole lot. We got because we got three of them at one time. <laughs> Swamp Fever, and, and then, everybody so, had one. And so two people, the only two people who picked them up, I think me and you, yes, were totally useless for a minute. Cause yeah, cause... we just wouldn't use them. <laughs> and I also had a we chainsaw. Yeah, you. Had, I think we both had a chainsaw. We both. Yeah, we both had a chainsaw because we sat on the wing of that plane and just fucking yeah. went ape. It was stupid. <laughs> it was. It was really dumb. Yeah, I, <laughs> the the. It never feels like credit to team having that grenade launcher. No, it, it, only one person should have it. Even then, it's like, yeah, you kill a bunch. And you but... should ha- you should have it for like an arena, and then you switch it out. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, it's not fun. I mean, it's fun, but it's it's not useful once you go back to corridor walking. Yeah, which is usual. Yeah. Um. All right, I think that wraps up our discussion of Left 4 Dead 2. Um. Join us next week when we play an airplane. No. no. Oh no. Oh my god. It has airplanes in it. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> the, a game that begins with the with Joe Pesci trying to buy an airplane. <laughs> Join us next week when we play Bayonetta 2. The bayonetting. Yeah, I was like, I don't have anything to put after that. Oh. Uh but you fixed it. Well it's fixed. Thanks for listening. Send all your uh hate mail to <laughs> hate mail to our web zone. Good night. How do we end these? Just like that. As awkwardly as humanly possible. Night, night. <laughs> Good night. I, I was checking um, to see when Zombie Land came out. Oh, because this level reminds me a lot of it, but like it, it feels very, very similar. You know, they go to an amusement park and all that stuff. Uh, all the all the le- all the movies to me, or all the whatever campaigns to me, feel like very like they're trying to pay homage to very specific movies. So I was yeah. trying to figure out what Dark Carnival was. I'm sure there's another carnival based zombie movie. Maybe zombie. Zombie. You mean zombie two? <laughs> zombie. But two. I mean like the zombie two. Isn't that the one? Is that in a carnival? I thought so. I don't know. I I, I saw, can't remember which one, but I, I saw, thought one of those ta- two. You're talking about not not Z O M B I. I know. I know. Uh. Uh, Dawn of the Dead Two, quote unquote, right? That's is, what that movie is. I don't remember. Okay, but it's the it's it's Italian, yeah. Yes. Okay. The I Italian when zombie I like, movies. Those are the only like, ones I know, but I don't remember them. It's been so long since I've seen them. It's the only one I know. I just don't remember. I don't it. know anything about the the <laughs> the what's his face movies. I've never seen them except for the one choke on them. Uh, You've only seen Day of the Dead. Yeah. Have you really? Yeah, I don't like the I don't like zombies. So. But Dawn of the Dead's so good. Is it? Is it better yeah. than Night of the Living Dead? Because that's my personal preference. And I've seen I, Return I like, of the Living Dead, which is both, a completely both, different series. Yeah, it's not only a completely different series, but also a completely different, like... T- which I like better, it, so... I like I like both. I, I think they both have something to offer. But uh, Night of the Living Dead is... I like both maybe equally. Yeah. Uh, Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead's one of my favorite movies ever made, but uh, it, that's just because it's, like, insane for some reason, but... Both both are very good. They they feel very different from one another. Uh, I I think we should watch Dawn of the Dead sometime. The original, nineteen seventy nine, and then we can watch its sequel, Zombie Two.
Yeah, I mean we can. Yeah. They're both good. I think that one is a shark. The, I don't remember. Shark? It's been. I saw it as uh, a kid, so I don't remember it at yeah, all. Yeah, I never watched it again after I watched it the first time. Uh, I I used to really really like like old zombie movies. Um, I never cared for zombies. Just something I never interested. I mean, I did until they got really really overplayed. But we should watch Dawn of the Dead sometime. It's it's really good. It's, it's very interesting at the right. very least. I think you'd really enjoy it because like you know th- yeah. they're all practical effects. They they went out and bought cow guts. That were all rotted by the time they used them. So, like, Tom Zavini is getting pulled apart, and he's just like, there's an interview where he's just like, uh, the whole time I'm just trying not to throw up because it just smells awful. Because we let him, we let him stay out for too long. And so he's just covered in these rotten cow guts. It's a really cool movie. All right. Yeah, we should watch it. 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 All right. Yeah.